Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, December 3rd, in this first week of Advent, and it is another brilliant and glorious day. And today I'd like to talk to you about light. Uh, every year since I was a little girl, we always put up our Christmas tree on December 12th. That was my sister Jennifer's birthday. And so for the longest time, I thought the 12 days of Christmas were from December 12th to the 24th, and then Christmas Day. Little did I know later on in life I would find out that the 12 days of Christmas actually begin on Christmas Day and last until Epiphany, January 6th. So every year our history was, our, our tradition was, to put up our Christmas tree on, on Jennifer's birthday, December 12th. But once I was living on my own and I was a, a priest, I decided to put my tree up on my own timeline. And usually I would wait as long into Advent as I possibly could, because to me, the Christmas tree was thinking in terms of Christmas, not Advent. Well, this year, <laughs> with the pandemic Advent we have, I have been really needing light. Maybe part of that is being this far north in Alberta compared to where I've lived before, where the days get so dark so early. Now, mind you, I'm really enjoying this long evening um, having the darkness is peaceful and um, it, it gives a lot of time to be restful and to be contemplative. But the lack of light is sometimes really discouraging and during this pandemic I think the more light we have the better. And so last night uh, we put up our tree and we can see it behind me all lit up and with our angel on top and it goes along with our advent candle um, the first candle lit for this first week of Advent, reminding me that even though the days are getting longer, we are coming closer to the Advent of Christ's coming when the light of the world will be among us. So as each day gets longer, we add a little bit more light until on Christmas we will light our Christmas, our Christ candle. One of the Advent resources I have been using is a little booklet put out by the On Ingle's Wings publication from Vancouver um, called Advent Reflections 2020. And this is a reflection written by Fiona Brownlee, who is an Anglican, who is the Aboriginal and Rural Communities Liaison from the, for the Diocese of Edmonton. And she lives in Wetaskiwin, Alberta. So this is called Candlelight, Christ Light. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Isaiah chapter 60, verse, verse 1. Every winter I count down the days until the winter solstice when I know that every day after that will have more daylight. I live at the 53rd parallel north, and during the long nights of December and January, we generally only get about 8 to 9 hours of daylight. I know that there are many communities in the far north that have even fewer or no hours of daylight during this time of the year. These long dark nights help me to slow down, to find more time for prayer, to plan and to connect with family and friends. I spend time preparing my heart, my home. I am sure that you are doing much the same. On the Sundays during Advent, we light a new candle each week, and finally at Christmas, we light the Christ candle and we all rejoice. In my home church, we light as many candles as possible from that light and remind each other that the light of the world, Jesus, is born and is present in our lives. We remember that our light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. This year, as you count down the days toward Christmas, towards the coming of Jesus, the light of the world, take time to prepare yourself through prayer and service. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, we await your coming as the light of the world. We await with open hearts and souls. Bless us in our preparations and in our service. Amen. As we continue to walk these, this Advent journey through these pandemic times, I encourage you to find ways to, to add light to your life. Light an Advent candle each week. Light up your Christmas tree. Put some lights on the outside of your house. Have some candles in your home. Do something that reminds you that even in this darkness, like the psalmist says in Psalm 139, even the dark is light unto you, O Lord. 
even when we find it to be the darkest of times, God sees the light and God shares the light with us through his son, Jesus. So I encourage you that as the days get longer, as we head toward the 21st of December, as, or as the days get shorter and the nights get longer, I encourage you to find ways to find the light of Christ in your life and then find ways to share that light with someone else for whom the darkness might be overwhelming. And I share with you today this prayer for our parish family. Gracious God of mercy and hope, we thank you for our St. Thomas and St. Mary's faith family. During difficult times in our world, we pray that you would inspire us to joy in worship. Invite us to a deeper and intentional place of prayer. Stir up in us a desire to know you better through your Son, Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit. Teach and encourage us all how to share your Son with others beyond the walls of our church. In hope, joy, and anticipation, we pray. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Have a great day. The sun is shining here in Wainwright. It's a wonderful day to get some fresh air, to take your dog for a walk, to say hello to your, to your neighbors from a safe social distance. But remember, please always wear your mask, stay safe, and help others to stay safe as well so that they too might see the light of Christ coming into their lives week by week as we head for Christmas. God bless. Stay safe. Be strong. See you tomorrow.